Since we can't figure out what else to call it, we're going with a cast iron pan, spicy Italian sausage pizza. We like the idea of this a lot. Love Italian sausage, love it. One of the greatest things ever. In a casing, we'll cut them open. Jalapenos, roasted red pepper, we'll roast ourselves. Hey, you guys think, good idea? Should I roast the pepper? It's hard for them to hear me when they've got pieces of equipment. I'll try once more. Hey, do you guys like the idea of me roasting this on the grill? I, I think I saw a hand wave through the bushes, so. All right, I got it for you. A little no cook. How about a little no cook sauce? Thumbs up too, no cook sauce. It's all good, but we start, sorry. We start by making the dough because it needs to rest and rise an hour. Sorry, can you do that again? I couldn't hear you. We start Louder. by making, we start Louder. by. <laughs> Look, people say, why don't you just shoot when it's not gardener time? Well, guess what? Every day, gardener day, every freaking day, Somebody, these guys, these guys, these guys, those guys, everybody. It's like they're on top of us right now. And I know it's not as bad for you as it is for us, but it's loud boys, right? It's loud. Like right now. Yes. I feel like dude is there with whatever that piece of equipment is and he's laughing at his buddies. It's with us. Watch me turn it up. We'll screw with Sam the cooking guy. Do the other people have these problems? No. Babish, no gardeners. Weissman, no gardeners. Guga? No legs. You notice you never see Guga standing up. Always sitting down. Okay, let's go. I mean, okay, let's go. Now that was awkward. Okay, let's go. All right, into our mixer, we start with two cups of bread flour. Uh, you could use all-purpose flour. Bread flour makes the crust a little bit crispier. Regular flour, a little bit softer. It's up to you. All right, we need a teaspoon of sugar and the same of salt. We'll go with about a tablespoon of dried basil, or basil, as they say in Canada and the UK. Let's go about a half a tablespoon of garlic powder and one package of instant yeast, like that. I like to give it a little mix. Then I'll put on the kneading attachment. Give it a couple turns and then slowly Pour in three quarters of a cup of warm water, just like that. Let it start to do its thing. Tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, like that. And we just let it go. And when it's nice and smooth, a little bit sticky, but not too much, like this, it's perfect. So we'll take it, shape it into a beautiful ball. Look how pretty that is. The basil and the garlic in here. All right. Now into a bowl, throw in a little extra virgin olive oil, take our dough ball, mush it around, get covered on the sides, top and bottom. We leave it right there. We take a piece of kitchen film, saran wrap, whatever this stuff's called, right over the top. Make it nice and tight. We put it inside in a warm spot, leave it for an hour or until it doubles in size. Oh, so here's the deal. If you don't have a um, mixer with a kneading attachment, you can absolutely do this in a processor. No a problemo. If you don't have a processor, you can absolutely do this just in a bowl, mixing it all together and kneading it until it's that smooth, slightly tacky ball of dough. Same thing. If you don't have that or you don't want to do any of the above, just buy a bowl of pizza dough already made. You're going to be happy. Look. It's not like um, Papa John is coming over. Well, he's not even part of the company anymore, is he? No. Not like he was the arbiter of great taste when it came to crust. Okay, so it's not like Mario Batali's coming. Oh, he's not coming over either. Did he get like canceled? He got, he got canceled. <laughs> yeah. Is there anybody else left that we can mention that has not been thrown out of their companies? Look, it's not like Julia, she's dead. It's not like Gordon Ramsay's coming over to yell at you for your dough. I think if you want this, feel free to buy pizza dough already made. It's gonna be great. Yes, dough's important, but the stuff that goes on and the flavors and all that, don't not have this. Uh-oh, see that? That was a little Gordon Ramsay thing. Look, don't not have this because you don't want to make the dough. Feel free to buy the dough, you idiot. Okay, next up, uh, we're roasting this 
We're making a no-cook sauce and we're starting some Italian sausage. It's all good. Thank you to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna tell you this, one of the most important keys to a healthy life is, and I'm telling you about Helix Sleep because I want you sleeping like I sleep, like a baby. And here's what makes it so fantastic. Oh, it's not just some mattress that you look at and you buy. You take a quiz first to determine how you sleep and which mattress is right for you. They're customizing the mattress to you. Here's what it's like. Are you a back, side, or stomach sleeper? I'm a side. Do you like it soft, medium, or firm? Do you sleep alone? Do you share the mattress? Once you fill it out, once you order your mattress, oh, it's a mattress in a box that comes to you. No store, no 14 guys carrying the thing up the steps. It's a box. Look at, here's how ours came. You undo the plastic that holds it together and all of a sudden, boom, there it is, ready for you. I was in love with it right away. Summer was in love with it right away. Oh, and by the way, that comes free to you in the United States. Once it's set up, you sleep on it for 100 nights. At the end of that, if you determine you don't like it for any reason, they'll come pick it up free of charge, give you a refund, nothing to worry about. You're not gambling. This is not gambling, ladies and gentlemen. This is a guaranteed thing. And it comes with a 10 year warranty. What could you do to your mattress that would need a warranty fix? I don't wanna know, don't answer that question. You can keep that in your head. I'll make it easy for you. Click the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash cooking guy. Get up to $200 off your mattress and two free pillows. Get off that ratty, skinny, crappy, springs poking up into your back thing that you've been on for far too long. It's time to grow up, ladies and gentlemen. Get yourself an amazing Helix mattress. Sleep on it like a baby like me every night. Thank you, Helix Sleep, for sponsoring this video. All right, I've uh, oiled this pepper just lightly, and on it goes. And if you remember from when we made the chili relleno, the, 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 the chili relleno. Thank you. We want to blacken this. And you can see, like, it's going to take a bit. So while this is doing its thing, uh, we can get some uh, sauce happening and we can get the sausage happening. Okay, before we get the sausage in the pan, we're going to just mash up a few fennel seeds. Fennel and Italian sausage are like a marriage made in heaven. So we just give this a quick run around. Like, you can use them whole, but I feel like if you can break them up a little bit, you get a, just a nice little extra burst of flavor out of them. Okay, sausage in the pan. Before the sausage goes in, we'll throw a little olive oil into our soon to be released Sam the Cooking Guy 12 inch cast iron pan. Hell yes. Very excited, very excited. All right, I'm using the, uh, the uh, Italian sausage with casings. So we'll just break them open, pull off the outside, put them in. And I think two should probably be enough. Two will be enough. We'll break this up a bit. Obviously my pan is not too hot yet. Fine, don't get mad at me. I could have heated it up earlier. Once it gets going, we'll give it the fennel, the fennel treatment. And by the way, we're not just cooking the sausage in this pan, we're cooking the whole pizza in this pan. Fantastic. There we go. Now we'll get a little sizzle happening here. Okay, so after a, even just a minute, you can see we're starting to get gray. And look, we don't need to overcook the crap out of this because it is going into a hot oven for, you know, 12, 13, 14 minutes, but. So just a couple things right now. One of them's gonna be a little pinch of this fennel, like it is. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Love it. We'll go with a little extra red pepper flake. Just for a little tiny extra burst of heat, not too much. And we mix. Pieces like this are about perfect, actually. Oh, I forgot my watch. I weird. feel you look weird without it. <laughs> Skinny little wrist. This little. Hold on. Two thirty-two. Two, two, twelve. One, two, three. Uh -huh. I'm not sure if that's right. I might have made that more like one. Shoot. That's okay. Nobody will know. Good thing you did a permanent marker too. Look. Love it. What time is it? One thirty-two. Perfect. You got some ice on your wrist there, Sam. Look at me. All right. This is ready. There's a tiny little bit of red left. That's okay. We're gonna take this out now. We can kill the heat under the pan for now. And we'll now take out the snossage. The smell right here, ladies and gentlemen. If you're not an Italian sausage person, get on it. You're missing out in life. Gorgeous. Now just leave all the oil in the pan. 
Whatever little bits are left, get what you can, get what you get. Now we move on to our sauce. Before we make the sauce, wait, wait. Here's how the pepper's coming along. Shit, fuck, sorry. It's squishy and it will drip pepper juice. This color here, this black, all the way around, that's what we want. Look how gorgeous it is. It's so wibbly now. God, I love it. Okay, back you go, kid. No, look it, it broke open and the liquid's starting to come out. <sighs> Red pepper liquid, the best. Okay, the sauce. Right down here. Okay, I'm using a crushed fire roasted tomatoes. So we don't need that much, right? We don't want to inundate this. So we'll put a few, uh, maybe half a cup, which well, should do it. I think when it comes to sauce, less is generally more, at least in my eyes, less is more. Because we've got all the toppings, we don't want to just taste sauce, right? So we've got that. I'm gonna give it just a couple things. A little pinch of salt and pepper. Tiny bit more. Another little pinch of the dried basil. And that's it. You're right, ladies and gentlemen. It is the roasted garlic stirring paste because I like the roasted garlic flavor, as does Chance. Max is not in on this. He so wants to be. All right, so now we'll just mix this. Gorgeous. Freaking gorgeous. And the smell, insane, intense, delicious. Okay, this is off to the side, but let's not go away because we've got some jalapeno to cut. All right, so these guys, not him, but we just want like fairly thin pieces here. Seeds are fine. Remember, jalapeno is not all that hot. Somehow it has a reputation of being hot, but serranos are way hotter. These guys have definitely a little heat, but definitely flavor, and that's pretty much why we're using them for the flavor. So I don't want two big pieces. Okay, that's good. Next, a little red onion. We're just gonna do some very fine little, what are these things called? Wedges? Uh, slivers. Slivers. We need a compilation of you saying, what are these called? Come, come on, man. I didn't go to culinary school, if that wasn't obvious. And I call shit what I think regular people call stuff. I don't have the proper terminology. Okay, jalapenos, red onion. Time is up now on our dough. Let me go get it and we can get this rocking and rolling. Okay, before the dough though, let's get this guy. Oh, look how beautiful and squishy it is. In our bowl, we'll get some saran on top. Quickly, 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 like this. Seal it up, 10 minutes or so. This will be ready to peel and chop up. And there it is. I love that. That's rough. But look what we've got. Oh, I love that smell too, boy. Oh, I love, 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 love. Okay, so we're gonna put it on here. I gotta get it flatter, obviously. And I don't need all of this. So we'll put this kid down. In fact, the last time I did this, I needed, I think about nine ounces. What is this, should we be exact? Sure. Let me get a, hold on, nobody move. Well, we can try. Oh, well, right. Okay, so I think, let's see what this is. Clear, zero it out, zero ounces. This is uh, almost 18, so pretty much half is nine. I'm gonna go with half. Half this recipe should make enough, should it? Yeah, it's gonna rise up a bit, tiny bit more there. Okay, this is mine. And now this guy is beautiful, but now we need to flatten. So, and about the size of the pan that still has the oil in it, right? Which is great. So this, is, this takes a bit, you know? You want the glutens to relax a bit, but... Chill out, glutens. Let gravity pull down a little bit. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fine. This is gonna be fine. Just work it a bit. Take your time with it all the way around. So this, essentially one half of this dough recipe is perfect for a 12 inch pizza. 12 inch cast iron pan. 12 inch Sam the Cooking Guy cast iron pan sausage pizza. And if you didn't want to do it on the, if you didn't have a cast iron pan and you wanted to make a bigger one. Oh, good question. Use all the dough, flatten it out and of, normal. of course, yeah. I know if you heard, Max, if you don't want to use a pan, just flatten the whole mother out. Uh, you'll need more sausage and peppers and stuff like that, but you can figure that part out. 
All right, so when you've rolled your kit out to the 12 inch pan size or whatever size you're using, now we want to put it in. So with a little bit of extra oil in here, in the pan. And a lot of gardeners. And a lot of gardeners. We'll take our dough and quickly try and do this. Gorgeous, make everybody fit. I actually made it a little bigger than I needed. That makes me feel good. Okay, we'll get a little edge on it because what's wrong with a little edge, right? Now this kid is going on the heat now, right here, right on the flat top. We're not cooking it here, but we are gonna start to brown the bottom just a little bit. So when it's done in the oven, top is golden, bottom's golden, everything's beautiful. So we'll give it about uh, three, four minutes here and then come back to it. Okay, and after, you know, four, four-ish minutes, here's where we're at. We look like this. Ow. Ah, see that? Color, like that, like golden brown. Okay, coming back to this, let's get our pepper done in the meantime. Beautiful. Hold on, let me try and do it on, ah, forget it. So remember, we're pulling off this, the outside. Just pull that shit right off. It just gets so soft and luxurious and, and dreamy and a whole different flavor profile than when it's not been uh, roasted. In fact, it's really the thing to do. Look at that. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make this easy on myself. Pull off some, ow, ow, ow. If you have little bits of this on it, it's okay, it's only gonna add to the flavor. So I say you do this. Like get rid of the seeds. Not that they're hot, but you don't need them. And then this guy, we're just gonna take and make this like super rustic, right? Just bust these up on top of the pizza when it's time. Let me just get one more just in case I need it. Like this, put it there. I clean up here. I paper towel up this mess. Boys, now we're ready. So let's do this. Tiny little uh, olive oil here. Gorgeous. Now a decent sized handful of low moisture shredded Mozzarella, you don't have to go too crazy, but like a nice amount. Now our toppings, so let's do this. Let's come in with this red pepper that we just did and literally just like rip up pieces of it and scatter it. We want a little bit of everything. Not too much of any one thing, but a little bit. You dig? Yeah. <laughs> what, <laughs> your voices both got super deep for that. I'm not really sure why. Okay, this is about perfect for me. Just imagine people cutting pieces and will every slice get some of this? That's the goal. And one more. Let's get some of the slivered red onion. Just like a hint, it's a taste. Beautiful. Jalapenos, so gorgeous, man. I know I'm forgetting something. You know what it is? The sauce. I can fix this. Watch. Remember what I said little, less is more? Yes. This is exactly what I meant. It doesn't need to be spread out. It needs to be there so when you take your bites, it's there. And now last but not least, our sausage. Gosh, I'm so happy with this damn thing. My oven is on to 475 degrees. This kid's going in and we're gonna watch it. Really start watching it about 10 minutes because that's when uh, it might be ready if your oven's extra hot. If not, it might take 13, 14 and we're back. And after about 14 minutes, boom. Look at that kid. Look at the kid. Yum, 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 yum. Wait, allow me to orient it so you can see the STCG. Ladies and gentlemen, cast iron. It's for everything. And look, I was worried because it, uh, it was starting to climb up the edges a bit, but of course it always shrinks. So actually I say we take the kid out. Do it this way. Gentle. You hear that? Yeah, and that's because the bottom is, I won't fuck it up. Nice, ow, shit, it's hot. Okay, but one thing, one thing. Can I put one thing on? You can. And what do you think it would be? Parmesan. I wanted you to say something green. Damn you. Right, this sharp little bite of this shredded parm is gonna do all the best things to this. Oh, shit ass. What time is it? It's pizza time. No, on your watch. What time oh, is oh it? my watch. Here, let me look. It's, oh, that's weird. It's still like 132. Day's going really slow. All right, let's cut this kid. So, I thought we had a, uh, what's it called? Pizza roller. I thought we had a, a pizza, pizza roller? Pizza slicer. Pizza slicer. Well, 
since this knife is not exactly that. Let's just do this, and this, and this, and then this. Oh my God, the smell. The sausage. I'm getting a little fennel. I'm getting a little crazy in my mind because, 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 because look. Wow. Damn it. Find a little extra. Damn it. All right, so this nail has to happen. Like I'd complain about this having to happen. Look how beautiful it is. On the bottom, nice. I could have maybe given it another two or three minutes, but, but listen, you can't complain about that, right? Or what this bite's gonna be like. Three minutes to make the dough, couple minutes to make the sausage, 15 minutes in the oven, in a cast iron pan. Stop it now, just, just stop it. Oh, crunch, mm, mm. So much flavor. Fennel, check. Right amount of sauce, check. Right amount of cheese. Look, sometimes I think that the pizzas just get over cheesed and that's all you taste. Mm. And bites of jalapeno in here. Damn, son, please do this. And if you wish you could have a bite of this, I say this is the time to subscribe and hit the like button. And get your own cast iron pan soon. Get your own cast iron pan soon. How soon? Days. Days, this literally days. First edition. It's hot, hold on. First edition. If you don't get the first edition, <laughs> only the first edition, literally the first one's made, we'll say first edition. Once again, I'd eat more in front of you, just talking, but somebody will get really pissed at me. See ya. Damn it. Damn it.